Hi guys, welcome back to the Culture to Cobble Academy. I'm in my nice warm studio today while the gusts of wind are up to about 60 miles an hour at the golf course. So I'm here today to help you hit much lower flighty golf shots and control your ball and lower your scores when playing high winds. So first and foremost, I'm going to hit my normal swing for a nice calm still day. So I've got a 7 iron here and we're going to look at the stats. We're going to then compare them to when we change the technique and show you how much more effective it will be when you play in that wind. Okay, I've got the 7 iron. Okay. My normal swing. Okay. So that's my normal seven arm swing. And we're going to go through some stats and then we're going to change our technique and we're going to show you how much better our second technique is for the wind. Okay. So that shot there um, is my normal seven arm that I play on a steel day. That one has gone. Um, a peak height of 31 yards in the air. Obviously, when we hit it 30 yards in the air, that ball is going to be moved around by that strong wind. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you nice, simple tips to be able to lower that ball flight and obviously be able to control your ball better in the strong winds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we club up. The reason we do this is because we're going to actually have a much, much shorter, shorter goal swing than playing the wind. So we want the ball to go naturally further than it does normally. So instead of using a seven arm, we're going to go to a six. So I've got my six arm. Okay, the ball position is then obviously a key part of this. For a normal six arm, we want to be just in front of centre. I'm actually going to bring that back just, just behind centre. That's going to give us a natural shaft angle and it's actually going to deal off the club even further. The less loft, the left, less height, the less spin. The next thing we're going to talk about is the backswing. Okay, this is, this is a really big part of, of actually bringing down our ball flight. And the, quest, the question is we've got to do is how can we reduce the height of the golf club by changing our backswing, okay? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the hinge and that backswing. With no hinge, we're going to be shorter in the backswing for a start, and also we're going to have a lot less spin on the golf ball because of this. Okay, so I'm going to show you in real time how having no hinge on the backswing will bring your ball flight down. So we've got the six, we've got the ball position towards the back, and instead of having our normal hinge to get the club nice and high, we're going to actually going to have no hinge on that backswing. What you'll see is the club base is obviously quite shut, but the reason why it's shut is we want to keep that ball flight down. With no hinge, we're a lot shorter in the backswing, which means again, we're not going to produce so, so much club head speed, which means again, we're going to keep that ball flight down. Okay, so this is how we do it in your full swing. So ball position back, no hinge on the backswing, okay? And follow through. Okay. So as you can see there, that flight is much, much, much lower. And that ball hasn't deviated too much in the air, and the distance is pretty similar to the full seven arm I hit before. So let's have a look at the stats. Okay, so we've actually brought that down to 24 yards through the air. So again, it's seven yards lower. The ball's obviously gonna be able to, to not deviate so much in that wind. The ball's gone a lot flatter, a lot straighter. One big thing as well when playing in the wind is we must keep our tempo. The harder you hit it, the more spin you'll get. The more spin you'll get, the more dispersion you can get in your golf ball. Okay, so there's your tips. We choose an extra club, we have the ball position further back, we have no hinge on the backswing, and we have a much, much slower temper than we did normally to hit our desired distance and our desired shot. We'll see you again. 